Hi everyone. I'm Debbie Saunders and I'm the Executive Director of Artist Co-op 7. It is my pleasure to welcome you to the reception for our virtual exhibit entitled Shape of Now. The game plan for today's reception is as follows. All 16 artists will speak to the guests for a bit about their work. For optimum viewing pleasure, please use full screen mode and speaker view on your screen, not gallery view. Our guests will be muted by the host during the presentation. If you have any questions or comments, please use the chat room and we will do our best to respond. We will be posting the featured artist's contact info in the chat room. You already saw our bios for a short time, so feel free to read more of them at, later at sfvacc.org. It is my privilege to welcome our two newest members, Roshi N. Ferry and Denise Yarfitz. Well, I'm going to hang it up. And now a little something from Pat Bates representing SFVACC. Thanks for zooming in. Good afternoon, guests and fellow artists. On behalf of the San Fernando Valley Arts and Cultural Center SCORE project, welcome to the Artists Co-op 7 Summer 2022 exhibit, Shape of Now. Thank you to the City of Los Angeles, Department of Cultural Affairs, and LA County Arts and Culture for their support of the center. I am now pleased to introduce Jean Han, Managing Director of Artists Co-op 7, who will present information about our curator, Helen Kim. Jean. Thank you, Pat. I'm Jean Han, and I am honored to tell you about my friend and fellow artist, Co-op 7 curator, Helen Kim. Helen is a founding Co-op 7 artist. She is an artistic director on our art panel and serves as our ex exhibit installations curator. Helen is a certified interior designer and a member of the Artist Co-op 7 Board of Directors. Helen's work expresses an optimism and a true appreciation for the beauty of the forces around us. She began curating Co-op 7 distinctive group art exhibitions in 1990 the group is grateful and proud she continues to curate Co-op 7 exceptional shows today. Helen says, my focus has been the same since the first time I curated our group's exhibitions. I strive to present the best of each artist by creating individualized showcases within the larger group exhibition. The vision is always to highlight each artist's work in a way that strengthens and supports the flow and impact of the show of fellow artists in a shared space. Space, Helen says, is the extension of our inner force. This inner force is not entirely known. That is why artists struggle with or have fun with space. And now it is my pleasure to introduce the first featured Shape of Now artist, Rosemary Altshuler. Hi, and welcome to everyone to the Shape of Now exhibit. And my name is Rosemary Altula. I've been fascinated by the visual arts ever since I was a child. My formal training covers an expanse of 35 years. I'm never happier than when I'm absorbed in a watercolor painting and drawing, as well as experimenting with a combination of other media. I believe in experimentation and stretching to the best of my abilities. I approach each painting with a full heart, trying to bring all my creative talents to bear, never losing sight of my individuality. Being exposed to right brain techniques, color theory, negative space, etc., has been a thrill in my life. I always aim to please both myself and others. My work involves a combination of bright colors, contrast, plus positive and negative spaces. The subject matter is diverse in nature. I have sold an exhibit in group shows at the San Fernando Valley Arts and Culture Center, as well as other venues. 
I hope when you see my work, you enjoy it as much as I enjoyed creating it. And now I'd like to present the very talented artist and photographer, Pat Bates. Thank you, Rosemary. You're welcome. Okay. Let me make that go away. I'm doing multiple duties here, so I need to be a little bit patient with this. There we go. Um, welcome again. Uh, this is the third Artist Co-op 7 summer exhibit presented on a virtual platform. Who knew in early 2020 that the Arts and Cultural Center would be quickly and permanently closed forever? These portraits reflect my perception of the reality we now live in. An intransigent pandemic coupled with an unprecedented attack on our democracy and human rights and a war. The figures embody trepidation, darkness, disconnectedness, and perhaps a shred of determination and hope. I enjoy working with many different media these portraits um, all are done using a combination of ink, acrylic paint, and many different kinds of illustrator markers and some stuff that I made up myself. That's what makes it fun. It's my pleasure to introduce my friend and very talented artist and wonderful teacher, Adria Becker. Uh, thank you, Pat, that was really sweet. Um... As Pat said, I've, I've been teaching with Artist Co-op 7 for many years. Um, I'm a lifelong Angelina and been an artist all my life. Uh, the portraits in this exhibit are part of a series I created using oil sticks on toned paper. The challenge of drawing a live model during COVID restrictions made me turn to Zoom with the portraits reflecting the intimacy of the connection with the model posing from home seeing them on my screen and myself drawing at home. I'm proud to serve on the art panel of Artists Co-op 7 and on the board of the San Fernando Valley Arts and Cultural Center. Also, I teach oil painting at the American Jewish University in Bel Air and right brain figure drawing. My paintings and drawings have been exhibited and collected from Germany to Tahiti and featured in movies and TV. And I'm pleased to present Abira Breskel. Thank you, Adria. Hi, my name is Abira Breskel. Thank you for coming. Uh, I'm sharing some of my recent mixed media figure drawings today. And uh, I hope you enjoy the show. Now I would like to introduce Selena Chang. Hi, thank you, Abira. Um, thank you for joining us today. I'm Selena Cheng, and I'm very happy to be part of this third uh, online show with the co-op. And also want to thank you, San Fernando Valley Arts and Culture Centers for hosting the show. I've been a member of the co-op seven for probably about 15 years. Over the years, I have grown as an artist through painting with this group of artists and also teaching classes. And I'm inspired by the different artistic directions each artist in this group takes and I learn from them all. My favorite medium is watercolor and I have a special connection with watercolor because I just love watching the color develop in front of my eyes. My painting usually starts with an inspiration of a subject matter that resonates with me. In this group of five paintings, they are all inspired by nature and I try to capture the, that in different environments. The top three paintings depicts water in various mood, a stormy sea, a quiet creek, and a serene forest of sea kelp. And the bottom two recalls the beautiful landscapes in the snow from my travel in the Alps and Northern Europe. And I try to convey a sense of how I feel rather than rendering the actual scenery. 
So I hope you enjoyed the show. Thank you. And I would like to introduce our next guest, artist Jody Church. Hello, everyone. Thank you, Selena. I wanted to thank you as well for joining us all today. It's an honor, really, to show with such a talented group of artists. Since becoming a member of the co-op in 2016, I've been really inspired to stretch my creativity in new directions. I'm really especially pleased with the work that was um, chosen for this exhibit because they're all so different. With each one, I was able to tap into places I've never gone before. Like many in our group, I've done some kind of art all my life, and I really enjoy seeing how past artistic experiences creep into the work. I also spend a lot of time doing art with my little grandnieces, and I think this uh, has allowed more playfulness to come through, which is really fun. I hope you enjoy them. I'm happy now to introduce Judy Deckel. Thank you. Thank you, Jody. And welcome, everybody. Today, I hope you enjoy our show, our wonderful exhibit and wonderful artists. My art reflects what I see when I look at the natural elements of nature all around me. I am always seeing the shapes, colors, light, shadows, and defining lines that will make up the total image. Sometimes I gather up all of these elements and create something new out of my own imagination. I also look inside of myself and am so influenced by my own history and travels through life. I draw upon my experience and interests in all of the things that have been important to me and that have made me who I am today. I try to bring a lot of this information into my art. How I put all of this together on a two-dimensional surface, whether as a printmaker, watercolorist, or with a mix of various media, is what becomes very exciting for me as an artist. I find that there is no finish line in sight. The possibilities to create my work are endless. All except one of the pieces shown in this exhibit are monoprints, which is a medium I love to work in. Each piece that you see here involves multiple and complex stages of the printmaking processes in order to arrive at a point when I feel ready to pull the print on an etching press. The piece that I call the Colors of Nature dash spring is a multi-plate aquatint etching. And after pulling the print, I could see an image of new growth emerging. There are always surprises as I reveal what I have on the printing plates that I have made. And this is why I make art. I'd like to introduce next one of our newest members, Roshi Ferry. Thank you, Judy. Hi, my name is Roshi Ferry. Um, I wanted to say how excited I am to be accepted and part of this art exhibition with so many uh, talented artists. I've been painting for about seven or eight years. The medium I use is mainly watercolor. And the reason is how the interaction of the water and paint uh, work together and the very um, interesting and unexpected shape that they make. Although uh, watercolor has its own challenges and um, limitations. I love painting because it makes me peaceful. It makes me focused. And for hours that I paint, I don't think about anything else. And for hours, um, it's uh, just thinking about nothing, no worriness or nothing, uh, which is very healthy and healing like meditation. The other thing I love about painting is that it makes me focus. And um, also it makes me to show my inner Self, my inner uh, uh, child and uh, the things that other people might not know about the artist, the artist can show in their painting. Um, here I am using uh, in my paintings, as you can see, it's far from realism. 
and more expressive and expressionism is used. Um, I hope you enjoyed um, watching our um, exhibition and I thank you all my friends who participated. And I like to introduce the next artist, very talented artist um, and co-teacher Susan Gozenbeck. Thank you. Thank you, Roshi, and congratulations on your new membership. And also Denise, too, of your new membership. And um, well, I've been a member of uh, Artist Co-op since 1991, since we were at Every Woman's Village and studying with Dr. Alex Willemsons. Um, I'm also on the board of the um, San Fernando Valley Arts and Cultural Center with Adria and Pat. Um, I'm a team teacher with Co-op. And, um, and I have been for quite a while um, when, and watercolor and figure drawing. And I'm very happy to be another one of our, our annual series of co-op seven exhibits. We continue to get better and better. My own art practice includes drawing, painting, collage and monotype. Um, this particular group of work that you see is from our live models. And for the last almost three years, our models, although live, we were viewing through Zoom on the computer screen, which is very different from seeing her in person. The screen renders the model into very flat shapes, which can be in, uh, expressed as solid color or become very uh, many different textures. The drawings on paper you see here are mainly oil pastel drawing first, and then worked into with watercolor and Sumi black ink. The oil in the pastels acts as a resist showing through the water mediums. My choices of color and texture are a reflection of my own perception of the model, um, his or her mood of the, of the pose and the mass of the figure. A very more of emotional response than rather just a depiction of the model's appearance. So I hope you enjoy the textures and emotions of my five figure pieces. And now I would like to introduce uh, Daphne Gilboa, my co-teacher and friend. Um, in our, and we teach together in the water, uh, watercolor class in the winter session. Hi Susie, thank you very much. Hmm? Always a pleasure teaching with you. Likewise. Very good to you. Uh, thank you all for joining us today. My name is Daphne Gilboa and I'm a proud member of Artist Club 7. I studied art from 1991 to 1995, pretty much like Susie, with the late Dr. Alex Williamson and joined his group Artist Club 7. I paint in oil, in acrylic, and in watercolors. I do some collages too, and one of my pieces here has collage work on it. I serve on the co-op art panel and have taken an active role in their teaching program since 1995. I continue my learning process by teaching and by learning from my fellow artists. I draw most of my inspiration from life experiences. I like to travel and when I do, I take many photographs and use them later as references. I paint mostly in my studio for convenience and because I like to paint in large scale. As you can see, my paintings are far from realism. It is mostly the shapes, their values and texture that attract my attention even before I take the photograph. Colors come more intuitively and much later in the process. I like to play with my reference and surprise myself with the outcome. Sometimes I'll combine references and sometimes alter them. I never copy what I see. As you can hear, uh, most of the group here never copy what they see. Uh, we're trying to be as creative as possible. Some of my painting will feel very planned and controlled and others more experimental and with much less judgment. It is all part of my personal journey. Um, the pieces over here, I really chose them just because of the colors. There is no one thing in them, as you can see. Some of them are still life and some of them are nature. And one of them is more inspirational, like the one, uh, the peace one. 
uh, with everything that you're going on in the world right now, it seems appropriate. And um, I hope you enjoy, enjoy our show. Now it is a pleasure to introduce my fellow artist and friend, John Greenwald. Thank you. Hi, I'm Joan. And all my life I've been painting or drawing, almost all my life. And I love it. And I've done various media, most of it coming from the inspiration of nature and flow of water and space and air, time. But where does all that flow come from? And that's what really gets me because I've always also loved Asian art, which makes use of the blank page as an analogy perhaps to the unified field. And out of that unified field comes the art from, you know, making lines and colors and textures. And I just love to do it. I like to be as spontaneous as possible and work with a variety of different inspirations. I think you can see in Golden Wolves, they are really flowing around. Um, I also do other things, like I teach Tai Chi and Qigong, and I'm in the UCLA Guitar Ensemble. We play music from medieval to very modern. Uh, and again, all of that is flow. So that's about it, I suppose. So I'd like to introduce our fearless leader, Jean Han. Thank you so much for listening. Joan. Again, I'm Jean Han. Managing Director of Artist Co-op 7, Art Panel Director, Teaching Team Supervisor, and Instructor. Thank you all for coming today. I'm showing a group of recent life drawings selected by our longtime co-op exhibit curator, Helen Kim, for this our Shape of Now exhibit. I used to think art was a waltz done in sync with nature. Now I think it is a tango a dance of opposites that push and pull each other, a process of applying and of taking away. The face in this drawing, my next move is, as with all the drawings, are examples of this, it does something, I do something, dance experience. An artist is forever analyzing an unknown substance, attempting to resolve a mystery, to give form to vague situations or intuitions. I stay with my high emotions, joy, happiness, love. Drawing is a primal urge, a journey of discovery, an adventure into the surprising new world. The drawings and paintings in the show are drawn from live models, a subject I have been continually exploring with and among co-op artists since 1986. I have found satisfaction in the spontaneous, often compulsive activity of drawing and painting. I hope my work encourages concern for the well being of people and nature. As a very experienced teacher, I challenge you to express what lives within rather than a preconceived idea. The artist is the instrument, nature's energy goes in and is interpreted through the artist's mind and body. My goal is to find many approaches and never anticipate what will happen. It just happens. And if you look for it, you will see the magic. And now it's my pleasure to introduce our next artist, the talented Eve Chaius Lyman. Thank you, Jean. Um, it's a privilege to work with you as it is a privilege to work with all the Co-op 7 artists. My art is deeply emotional in nature, responding to the world around and within me in a very personal way. The inspiration for much of my work was always found in the human figure with its infinite capacity to express and embody the complexity of what it means to be a person. But since moving to Guatemala and living in the mountains in a small indigenous village, a sense of place has gradually crept into my art as my own roots have begun to sink into the black volcanic soil and are nourished by the soft mists hanging in the mountains my life here begins to be reflected in my art 
how could it not? There's just something about Guatemala. Life is not neatly compartmentalized here. Beauty and ugliness, life and death, the sacred and the profane are all visible all of the time in an inspiring profusion of life and color. Watercolor is actually a new medium for me, but taking the watercolor workshop with Artist Co-op 7, landscapes and still lives that I did with them have given me a perfect vehicle for expressing some of the magic and the mystery I feel here. Incorporating the bounty of my garden, the ever-changing beauty I see around me, and the rich and sometimes very weird traditions of local folk art. And of course, the joy and the gratitude I feel every day for the privilege of living there. And now I would like to introduce the indomitable Debbie Saunders. Thank you, Eve, that's a compliment. Um, for those who might have tuned in late, I will reintroduce myself. I am Debbie Saunders. I've been painting and creating artwork my entire life being part of Artist Co-op 7 for close to 30 years. Over the years, I have explored pretty much every medium. I am mostly known for my watercolors, oil paintings, and collages. However, I am always willing to try a new medium or a new technique. After all, you don't know if you're gonna fall in love with something if you don't try it out. One of my recent trials is shown in this exhibit. The pieces are wacky and dotty portraits done with acrylic pens and other water media. It's a big departure for me, but a whole lot of fun. I hope you have as much fun looking at them as I had creating them. Thanks for being here. And now I'd like to introduce the very talented Joy T. Wilson. Um, thank you, Debbie. Um, welcome. My name is uh, Joy, Joy Wilson, and my path in art began when my mom, Jessie Wilson, wanted, wanted to nurture my creativity in art, took me what used to be Ellery Women's Village in Burbank to meet a art teacher, um, Alex Valumsum. Alex Valumsum was a mentor to me. He, in, he encouraged me to join his oil painting class after seeing that I had a gift in his watercolor class after doing an assignment and I decided to, to join. Alice encouraged me to paint my own African American culture, which would become my folk in my art, which I would enjoy doing. My mom, Jessie Wilson, encouraged me to choose subjects that have a story behind them. This would be the platform that I would continue to use in all my paintings. And it has been a significant help to me even until now. I like to use vivid colors with sensitivity to detail and to use colors that have a flow to them. As in the painting, the, in, in, it, at, it, at the American Jewish University, in the garden at the American Jewish University, which is actually a self-portrait of me. The same technique was also used in all my work, including a commission painting that I did for 36 Church of Christ Scientists in Studio City called A Little Child Shall Lead Them, which I did for the church. If you'd like to see more of my work, you can go to behance.net put in Joy, J-O-I, Wilson. I hope that my work inspires and moves people. It has been a blessing to me. I would like to thank Dorothy Ghost, Adria Becker, 
Debbie Saunders, Terry Oates, and my mom, who I love dearly, for helping me to continue on this artistic journey. And now I would like to introduce Denise, your first peer heir, a new member to our artist co-op. Thank you, Julie. Um, my name is Denise Yarfitz Pierre. Um, my work is currently about people, places, and things that resonate with me personally. The subjects are mainly based on photos that I've taken in my everyday life and travels. Um, my goal is to evoke a sense of intimacy and emotional recognition for the viewer as well. Um, a few words about the paintings in this exhibit. The two on the top were inspired by a visit to Sedona, Arizona. Uh, that, that area is known for its so-called vortexes, places where the earth seems especially alive with energy. Uh, the middle piece on the left, the lotus flower, is inspired by my daily walks to a nearby park, which has a beautiful Japanese garden uh, with these flowers. Uh, next to that are items that are in my everyday life in my kitchen. And the one on the bottom, uh, the young woman with sunglasses is my daughter. And I call it life's a beach. Um, I wanted to say a little bit about my background. Um, I was also passionate about drawing and painting as a teenager and studied, taught, and practiced art as a young woman. My love for drawing eventually led to printmaking, uh, mainly as a, me a means to reproduce drawings. I came to Los Angeles in my early 20s to get involved in the feminist art movement here, which was centered in a place called the Woman's Building. I continued to make drawings and also became deeply involved in the local performance art scene, both individually and as a member of a group called The Waitresses. Over seven years, we wrote, produced, and performed pieces that used waitressing as a metaphor for women's work and roles in society. Soon after, uh, life, family, and career took me in different directions and I rarely produced visual art for several decades. Um, about 10 years ago, I began studying Ikebana, the Japanese art of flower arranging, um, with a close emphasis on observing line, form, and negative space. The practice spoke to my love of nature and my art background. Um, in early 2020, I decided to try drawing again. Soon the pandemic hit and I had the chance to take a watercolor class on Zoom with Artist Co-op 7. Here I am two years later and it's been an amazing experience. Thanks to the support and encouragement of the dedicated co-op teachers and fellow students, I've rediscovered making art with all its challenges, frustrations and joys. Um, you could say I've picked up where I left off or I'm trying to make up for lost time, but essentially I'm really making my way to a new place. Thank you all for taking the time to share the, and celebrate the work of all of these talented artists with whom I'm honored to be associated. And now I'm pleased to introduce Artist Co-op 7 member, Jeremy Hahn. Good afternoon, everybody. It's so nice to see you. My name is Jeremy Hahn. I'm a cross-disciplinary artist and educator of dance studies located in residence at the Brewery Artist Lofts. Spirit Body is an ongoing investigation of embodying a mystical queer presence during durational installation performances. Notable Spirit Body performances have occurred at the Hammer Museum during the IRL studio in 2016, during the High Voltage series at the Electric Lodge in 2018, as well as beach dances at the uh, Annenberg Community Beach House in 2018, and most recently during uh, the Brewery Artist Loft's um, Art Walk in 2022. Spirit Body was first commissioned in 2015 as an exploration of this myth, uh, mythological unicorn that was um, 
created for stage. Spirit Body Now enjoys the interplay between poetry and improvisational movement of my creation and narration and music by Sky. The video you will see today is a collection of past Spirit Body performances. And for more information about our work, please visit www.jnsarts.com. Thank you for being here. Please enjoy. Dear Andalusia, Drawn curtains yield to uncover pearls of fantasy's design. Questionable chronicles inquire strong suppositions associated with the unicorn. Will be read. Will be read. Will be read. Behold, liquid allocations postmarked dead or alive. Sirens radiate. Defeat the Captain Cook and the Royal Armies. They know not as we do. Ingrained dynasties and petroglyphs aside, the conclave eclipse a cavern space outpouring in generous expanse. Elapsed in darkness, rubies liquid bleed gold. His whiskers brush past my teeth. I stand atop the quiet to observe the periphery. Opal eyes. Snow speeds past Saturn, that celestial body ever turning, ever watchful, and yet I stand still in the remainder of the gap, listening, calling out. Where the echoes in the vastness of the blind soar, I do believe, yes, I do. There is no question magic surrounds my small white hooves that generate rainbows of the cosmic jewels. I ride in death to say goodbye. Whisper, whisper, whisper. Do they believe me? I do exist, as I must. Let us not forget I feel wide eyes bait with no hooks. Offering of luscious heart, speaking it's nothing to hold. Dive into echoes, behold. Not me, not here, not that. Why? this. Deep under the precipice he lies, crumbled in folds, and lit by stars who've died like this. Ride on, precious warrior. Ride on, powerful soldier. Lap the water from the hands of all cup. Terrified tower. Fragile, no longer. You think you have me? Hope gone asunder. Passion flies skylarking over pink sunflower spirals. This understanding is no longer mine to show, but yours to feel. Touch this. Can I touch and steal a glance out of the side slighted smile of crooked teeth? He turns to me on this small distant planet and emits a tranquil soliloquy. Poetic incantations envelop the insignia's design as it glimmers in the midday sun. He approaches the house, gun in hand. What ghosts live inside this dilapidated facade? Has he really neglected? Wait. Moonlight. Piercing the billowing clouds. The hourglass flipped sand topples endlessly atop a music box who quietly tinkles a melody of loss and illusion. Babalulu si si u ah. I'll never give up on lost and illusion. Expelled from the garden and cast out into the rain, the old forest bellows. You think of me mad? Why, of course not. He's perfectly free. 3.1459. Pythagoras was right. He is an idiot. It's all numbers, really. Destiny's design. Order is chaos like that of the divine sacred mantra. Ananda. The sages were right. Mima's giant crushed the spider's bones. They know not as we do. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breath in. Breath out. 
Breathe in, I feel the pulse. Breathe out, ribs close over heart like wings. Breath in, Eureka! Breath out, the castle burning, smoke billows high, flames licking the stratosphere, the call's no longer worth fighting for. Breathe in, chopping one, breath out, chopping wood. I sit on the edge of the bathroom brook and see my mother wrapped in a stream, her hair revealing and concealing an unknown look as she peers at me from the shallow brook. The water carries frequencies of her distant call. The raven lands on the branch and calls. Who and I to know what the raven call calls? Her light steps tenderly pressed into the soft white paw. Gallantly I rise. Tenderness, broken. Banish the tide, a patina-tinted sky, the raven still flies. Jade bugs crash, splash, and the champagne bath laps and pearls behind the raven mask. Is that what I think it is? Unicorn. Jane Hahn again. Thank, I'd like to thank my talented son, Jeremy Hahn, for sharing his spirited dance performance and poetry with us today, as he's done many times. I've held uh, the position of Managing Director of Artists Co-op 7 since 1995, and I would like to thank you, our guests, for joining us today for our third annual virtual reception, Shape of Now. We appreciate your participation, and I hope you have enjoyed the show. I am very grateful to our 16 featured artists and especially to co-op artist, Pat Bates, San Fernando Valley Arts and Cultural Center treasurer who put together our virtual exhibition presentation as well as to Carolyn Urey and the SFVACC for creating our beautiful website exhibition. Thank you to our Zoom tech committee of six co-op artists, Pat Bates, Susan Gazuntite, Margaret Burnett, Jerry Candelario Oates, Selena Chang, and Jeremy Hahn, whose skill fully contributed to the virtual reception behind the scene production. A special thank you to our longtime co op exhibit curator, Helen Kim, certified interior designer, for once again creating another quality co op exhibit. The co op artists are known for their spirit and carry and cooperation. Art can engage and enrich us. Art can challenge our assumptions and art can broaden our horizons. Thank you to our loyal members and participants for your continued support. It is your participation that sustains our longevity and our longstanding belief in cooperation. I especially want to thank our exceptional teaching team of 10 co-op artists who never tire of learning and teaching others. Next slide, please, Pat. I'd like to welcome you to the world of Artist Co-op 7. We're a group of over 50 artists who support the artistic and spiritual growth of each individual member. Over 30 years of in-person exhibits, we never imagined that we would be working together on Zoom. Yet our doing so enables artists from all over the region and indeed the world to participate in the co-op now. Next slide. Alex Willemsons, the co-op founding members and teachers were students of the late Dr. Alex Alexander Willemsons. Alex, a, a multifaceted personality, was a master in the fields he pursued, an accomplished award-winning artist, gifted architectural designer, founder and director of Artist Co-op 7 and his Growth Art Institute a psychologist and pioneer in art therapy. As a professor at UCLA, UC Santa Cruz, CSUN and Every Woman's Village, Alex inspired a large following. He encouraged his students to spontaneously explore and express their inner resources in order to achieve personal fulfillment and potential. Dr. Willemson's artistic principles and process of self-discovery became the basis of the co-op's philosophy, the process of being, doing, and becoming. Slide, please. Our group's objective is to continually strive to create and maintain an environment where each individual can experience and develop 
their unique creativity through classroom study programs, workshops, demonstrations, retreats, field trips, and varied ex exhibition opportunities, all arranged by the co-op. As you can see by the diversity in this collage created by our curator, Helen Kim, from one uh, painting each by each member at the time, we do not seek a unity of expression, but rather a diversity of creative ideas, distinguished by the integrations of color and form with both power and sensitivity in a variety of media and subjects. Next slide. This collage image by Helen Kim simply expresses our joy in our artistic community and serves as a powerful symbol to the enduring strength of the bonds we form in Artist Co-op 7 Life. And the final slide. That does it for our show. Thank you for watching the Shape of Now exhibit. We hope that the thoughts and images of this art will share encouragement and inspiration. Remember, you can revisit the entire exhibit at the center website, sfvacc.org. We will post the address in the chat. Join us again next time. Wishing you a pleasant evening and thank you all for coming.